Yo, what is up guys, GD0 bringing you another Rage Quit video with Battlespot. Uh, we're going to go ahead and select our little thing here and uh, change the music to the Kanto Pokemon, where it's a battle theme for the wild Pokemon from Gen 1. Uh, we're basically gonna get into the point of making people either forfeit DQ or just generally either taking the L but we're trying to get them to race quick so they could just either DC or forfeit the match so even if they would have taken the loss completely it doesn't really count as an actual loss to me because we're trying to get them to basically DQ or forfeit the match so while we wait for a trainer to appear seems like they're not gonna even have any opponents appearing I might have to do it again Come on, search for your opponent. I hate that where we should be able to push the B button to uh, be able to switch out, you know, to re enter the whole battle scene again. It makes no sense. Because then it's like, oh, why, why would you do that? You know, like if we're like continuing the battle, continue the battle, and then. You know, pit us in for another next type of battle, but you don't do that. So it's like it's kind of weird. Okay, so put the song back to where it was, and we should be able to pick up another person. Probably someone from Japan, someone from the U.S., maybe. Depending on who wants to be able to challenge me and getting either race, you know, either DQing on me or either uh, forfeiting their matches. Let's see, let's see what happens. Da 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 da. This is interesting. We're just waiting here, waiting to get our battle started, and nothing, and nothing's happening. Mm -mm -mm. That's kind of sad that nothing is happening right now. We should be able to get a battle in, but no people to battle. Yo, generally I get like at least more people to battle on here than I generally don't get to battle on here. I don't know why, but somehow it seems like there's no one in here. What the heck? Okay. That's already like three minutes into the video already, and there's been nobody able to accept the battle. It's kind of crazy. Or be on there to actually want to battle at all. And now we gotta put it back to the song. There we go. Okay, so put it back to the song. Still, there we go. Someone from Japan. Yes, thank you for being our person that will either get flinched or not. You know what? I feel like putting in um, Marshadow instead of putting in Jirachi. And the reason why I want to do that is because of his um, justified uh, Lucario. Because that does get him a. Not justified, but his uh, steady feet will let him outspeed most of my Mons. So I rather like hit my shadow up in there just in case if it comes down to it where he has that type of uh you know lucario 
He does send out the nine tails. See, so yeah, I could. I don't know. I feel like. Yeah, yeah. His his. His nine tails could do a lot to me, but if I can flinch it, that's fine by me. If I could get a two hit KO, then that's fine by me as well. Oh, the inject button. All right. Okay. Ha. Huh. Not a good deal. Not a good deal. It's a shiny one too. Oh my. Okay. Well now. As it precedes me, knowing the fact that you are shiny, you do not outspeed me yet. And two, I flinch you. Oh, that's a two hit KO. Sludge bomb. That does KO me. Does it have a speed boost? Is it timid? It is timid. Okay. So we got a timid. You know what? Actually, since you got the speed boost, we're gonna go ahead and go into Mars Shadow. Right? Right. I think that's fair. Right? You should go into Mars Shadow. Get that speed boost away from him. Right? Because we still outspeed it. We don't outspeed it. That's fine. We can still take Dragon Paws. But we're still gonna take your speed on top of that. So we're guaranteed to outspeed it now. And you get to guarantee to outspeed the rest of his mons now. Because we're at plus one speed. Alright, alright, alright. So his next Pokemon is Agent Slash. Okay, Agent Slash. Now, you kind of freaked me out a little bit. I don't know what you want me to do to you. We're gonna go ahead and go. He's gonna go for the King Shield. My boy. Going for the King Shield. Okay. So we go for a Spectral Thief. It shouldn't lower my. Uh, it does lower my attack. Okay. That's fine. That's. That's. That's all we needed. I kind of want to just go ahead. Go for the Z move anyway. So we're gonna go ahead and do that. Yeah, you can't double on that King Shell. We're just gonna go ahead and go for the signature Z move. So that's another video that I'm just gonna have to just edit it either way. Because again, signature Z moves do I do get copyrighted for. So we're just gonna have like a little picture that's pretty much covering all that signature Z move right there. And we should be fine. We don't have to get copyrighted for the actual signature move because it's not gonna show the signature move. We're not able to take out this Pokemon. Now here's the thing. I don't think we outspeed it. We should be able to outspeed it, but there is that chance of him doing that King Shield. He does not go into King Shield. He does go in attack mode. Does that KO? It does KO. Darn. Darn, darny, darn, darn. So we're able to go. So we're gonna go into uh. Totally kiss here. Now knowing the fact that he got a what? How much? A plus two attack. His plus two attack shouldn't take out Togekiss, but if it does, that sucks. You pretty much lost that match. Did not. Let's go! Let's go. We were able to take out the Aegislash. Nice. That plus two had me. That plus two had me. I was like, I should not be able to take this L right now. Let's go. So, it's either... He stays, he stays with it, or he just, he just forfeits. Because I do outspeed, and he should be able to either forfeit the match, because my air side is going to go for the kill. 
He stays in. He's taking the L. Okay. Not bad. That was a good play. Yeah, I commend him on that. Yeah, I commend him on that. It took me a while to get a battle in, but hey, that just generally just the point of battle spy where you can either wait and see if the battle comes in and the battle comes in. If it doesn't, it doesn't. If the person rage quick and says, oh, no, I'm forfeiting or I'm DCing, he's going to be DCing. Either way, it's going to be that way. Uh, we're going to go ahead and get another match. Okay, we're going to set it up to the Kento theme. We get another person from Japan. Interesting. Very interesting. Oh, okay. Well. It's time for Shaman Sky to lead up first, and we're going to have all the three uh, Pokemon here. And we should lead with Shaman, and then lead with Togekiss, also leading off with Jirachi. Um, so far, all his bonds look difficult, but not too difficult, so that's a good thing for me. But we don't know about the situation with this particular team. Again, I get a lot of Pokemon teams on battle spot so guessing him on here shouldn't be a truly different knowing off of facts and running to the team multiple times doing this should be a cakewalk Ooh, Kyogre it's, it's a regular Kyogre no it's a, not a regular Kyogre it's a primal Kyogre I guess the it didn't primal because I was still faster in it. That's why I didn't really do anything. Because I remember getting another Kyogre and I was like faster in it. But I just realized it didn't have the primal. So it didn't take on that effect. But I was still able to outspeed either way. So. There we go. For the first time flinch in a while, we're going to try to go for a second flinch. So, knowing the fact that if, if I get the secondary flinch, it's good to set to where he either going to rage quickly or he stays in. I do, I do get the guarantee kill. That's nice. A three hit KO. That's awesome. So now... Is either he has what other Pokemon key he have that will be able to come in to play? He has the Mewtwo. Now, knowing the fact that this Mewtwo, there's only Air Slash to affect this Mewtwo. Again, Mewtwo cannot outspeed me. If it is Mega, if it's not Mega, then again, it still does not outspeed me. I should be able to flinch it. It was not able to flinch. Flamethrower does a pretty good healthy damage. It doesn't have any priority moves, so I should be able to take out this Mewtwo. Nice. Nice. Thought you had me there. Thought you had me there. Thought you had me there. So he has his Rayquaza. And, uh... We're just gonna go ahead, go for another air slash, and air slash should take it out. Well, it should be either a two hit KO or at least a three hit KO. I'm assuming it is because it is a dragon flying type. So, ooh, it looks like a two hit KO, and I do able to get the flinch off, and this is his last mod. So, is he gonna forfeit or rage with? He goes for Mega. Mega is not going to help you, sir. Mega is not going to help you. And you're just giving a boost of uh, flying type moves. So, regardless of you becoming a flying type, you just boosted up my flying type move. And I still got the KO. GG, buddy. GG. Again, no forfeits. That's shockingly no forfeits that is crazy
it might not even be uploaded because I haven't been getting any like actual Yeah, you know, that's the thing about matches like this is either it's going up because I flinch and forfeit people or you know it didn't even happen so we're just gonna go ahead go into another match There we go. So we got another person from Japan. Nice. Interesting. Uh, so I guess this is going to be on another matchup that we're going to get, and it's going to be our last matchup, I guess. See what happens. Tapu Coco, though. Not the event co Tapu Coco, so that's a good thing. Electric Surge. So, Electric Surge does speed up the special, so, I mean, it's speeds up the speed so it kind of sucks for me oh no it doesn't I guess I do have enough speed to outspeed but I can't flinch either so that's another thing hmm hmm well all we can do is continue air stashing the top of Coco because that's the one thing that could possibly happen there we go. Like I said, all we need to do is continue trying to flinch it. Or we keep Shim and Sky at full health. Top of Coco is down. Does have the Necrozma Dusk Wings? Okay, well, again, my moves are very effective again against you. So, it is an Ultra Burst Necrozma. Okay, not gonna argue with your Ultra Burst situation. <laughs> Oh my gosh, it took it out. Okay, I was trying to switch it out. Thank you. Okay, so. Okay, so all we can do is just iron head flinch things now. So we shouldn't be really truly worried about Papa Gogo and the uh, other Pokemon. Let's see. So we got the amazing Lugia in its presence, but it's gonna go down to a Jirachi in like at least 30 seconds. What the heck? It skill swapped your abilities. Mm hmm. Interesting. Alright, alright, alright. Go for the iron head flinch again. Does not get the flinch. Goes off with the Z move. I'm guessing this is from Ancient Power because it should be a rock type move. Mm -hmm. 
interesting. Oh my gosh, drop the pin. <laughs> like, oh my goodness, drop the pin. So we're gonna go ahead and go for another iron head. Uh, he's either gonna forfeit the match or he's just gonna let his thing die. He forfeits the match. Wow, guys. We got him at least, what, like two or three matches or at least four matches in. And we only got like one person actually able to like forfeit the match. So, guys, enjoyed this. Even though we didn't able to get anybody to forfeit the match earlier, but we got it at the last round. Definitely go ahead and check out the Rage Quick Battle Spot uh, videos. Uh, I should have the one of them up right now you should definitely check it out and this is our second one so definitely go ahead and check those videos out i'll see you guys in the next race quick battle bye guys